Following England's disappointing World Cup campaign, Stuart Lancaster ended his four-year spell as head coach. With the hunt on for his successor, we spoke to the man who led them to World Cup glory 12 years ago. Every time you play a tournament, if you win, lose or draw, you've got to, you've got to learn the right lessons. So um, England's just got to learn the right lessons from this tournament. I think they've got to look at the, you know, the style of rugby that wins the World Cup, and, you know, and, and I you know, generally do believe um, you know, that you've got to go out with a mindset of to, to win it, and that, by that I mean you've got to go and attack, and by that I mean you've got to have a really quick team from 1 to 15. You've got to be able to scrummage and line out, but your back row has got to be quick, your second row, your, 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 your forwards, your front row have got to be guys who can run around you know, and, and be a very quick team, and you've got to have great ball players in, in your midfield, you, you can't have big battering rounds. So, it's just learning, you know, you've got to go out and win. And to beat the Sun Hemisphere, you've got to go out and play a little bit different than them, but just try and play faster and quicker. And then, and then you can win. If you don't do that, I don't think you've got any, any chance at all. The senior side may have underperformed, but the signs for the future are good, with their young stars having won two World Rugby Under-20 championships in the last three years. I think everyone's going to be really proud of England about what happened in the, in the, in the Junior World Cups. It's great to win in that age group. With the, becomes sort of a habit for these young players to win. But, you know, the next stage up is really the, the, the tough, you know, picking the England team is, is tough and, and getting the right team in the field because we've got so many good players. Well, I think if they look back again to 2003, 1999, England lost in the quarterfinals to South Africa and uh, in that team there were a lot of young players, you know, headed by Johnny Wilkinson and players like that, you know, Ben Cohen and um, Mike Tindall all went on to win the World Cup four years later. So they've just got to learn from that experience and, you know, Rugby isn't about that, you've got to take your, the bad times with the good times, so you've got to learn from it. So the, the young players especially have got to sort of take it all on board, just go back to the clubs, train twice as hard and look forward to four years' time where hopefully it'll go a lot, lot, um, a lot better for them. You know, I think also we've got to stop getting fixated by World Cups. To me, you know, we've got to get fixated now about the Six Nations, the next game is Scotland away and that's going to be one hell of a tough game. So you, sh you shouldn't look at four years ahead, you just look at next game and that's what you should be looking at and then after that next game, next game and one, one, you know, if you do that sometime the World Cup will come around but I wouldn't start planning on four year plans, just plan on winning the next match and, and build from there. <laughs>